Hey dudes, today on Net Reviews we're going to be taking a look at these bad boys. These DBA 4000 series T3 slotted and brake rotors. I'm going to be fitting them to this MY99WRX over here. Now, if you want to check out the fitting video, head on over to Ned's Garage. That's a must watch video. But if you want to see how these rotors perform, stick around here. We're going to put them through their paces. So let's get to it. Now what I love about these DBA rotors is that they come in a bag of desiccant. They're already painted on the non-contact surfaces. Okay, and they're not greased. So all we need to do is give them just a quick wipe on the brake surface with brake cleaner. If you don't have a brake cleaner, just use thinners. And we can just slap them straight on. So here's what the rotors look like when they're mounted. They've got a really good finish on them actually. The machine surfaces are nice and smooth. There's no jagged swarf on them or anything. Um, the paint finish is... I mean, it's not fantastic, but it's acceptable. Certainly saves you a lot of time when you're fitting rotors. Don't have to paint them. Don't have to worry about them going rusty later on. Um, and the braking surface is a nice, smooth machine finish. It doesn't have deep grooves in it. So they're going to bed in nice and quick, as opposed to cheap rotors that are really groovy. Um, just take ages to wear those grooves off and bed in. You'll also see there's... They got the coloured stripes. These are heat activated paint. Um, something you're never ever going to use if it's just a street car. But these are for the track. And each one changes a colour at a different temperature rate. So you can really see what sort of temperature your rotors and pads are running at to help you choose different type of pads uh, if you need to. So let's have the front ones look. And let's check out the back ones. Same deal with the back rotors, have the same slot pattern on them, the same heat coloured paint, and again, the finish is great. So yeah, that's about really all there is to say about the, uh, the finish of them, and the look of them. They certainly look flash. Alright, so the rotors have been fitted for a few thousand kilometers now and they're nice and bedded in. They certainly look good in there. They're a really nice appearing rotor. They look different because of the shape of the slots. There's no left and right because of that, which is cool. And they certainly do have a attractive appearance. Alright, but here's what I really like. Check this out. See this? Check that out. They're a nice dusty rotor. And you're probably saying why do you want a dusty rotor? Look, gonna make them wheels all dirty like. Well, a dusty wheel means the rotor's got good bite. Think of it this way. Have you ever heard of a vampire that bites you and you don't bleed? It's kind of the same thing with a dusty rotor. A dusty rotor's like having that good old stream of red stuff coming down your neck. You know it's got good bite. And I mean, let's face it, brakes that work are far more important than wheels that are shiny. Just go and get your old bucket and give them a wash for goodness sakes. So yeah, that makes daddy happy. Let's take the wheel off and get a better view of these things. They certainly are a cool looking rotor. Not just that, but because of the curved slot T3 pattern, you don't get that slot noise like straight slotted rotors either.
right dudes, well what do we think of these DBA 4000 series slotted rotors? I don't know about y'all, but I reckon they're filth. They're easy to fit, they've got a great finish, and they stop well. So let me break all that down. They're a really well built rotor. They're finished well on the friction surface. They're painted on the non-friction surface. So your prep time's really next to nothing. What you gotta do is clean the friction surface and slap them on. They fit well, they're easy to load onto the hub. They're obviously made to good tolerances because I don't have any pedal pulsation. So for build quality, I give the rotors a 4 out of 5. For pedal feel, they're also great. I can't tell that they're slotted, I don't have any ripple feel. They're not noisy, they don't squeal. So for pedal feel, I give them a 4 out of 5. Now for stopping power, that's what we really want to know about. just amazing. Feels like the car's going to do an endo. Every time I touch the brake pedal I'm going to lose more hair off my head. That's also aided obviously by the fact that we've got a set of high friction pads, we've got a set of braided brake lines and we've got our brake master cylinder brace. Now, if you haven't seen any of that action, head on over to Neb's Garage. Those videos are a must see. But that doesn't alter the fact that these rotors really do have a good feel and they they just really grab well. Um, they're going to stop you faster than a nip slip at the Grammys. So I've got no choice but to rate the stopping power of them a 4.8 out of 5. So, that's about it guys, I, uh, I'm going to sum it up by giving the overall rating of these DBA 4000 series slotted rotors a 4.5 out of 5, they're amazing, you're not going to be disappointed. So I suppose that's about all, uh, once again thank you for liking, sharing and please keep subscribing, catch up with you next time on Never Reviews.